Hi there, this is Mar Haddad here again. So in uh, this uh, lecture, I have to show you what are the softwares that you need to download and how you can install them. And of course, before doing that, I need to check if my computer meets the requirement that, uh, as I said uh, on the, the last lecture, so regarding the processor, regarding the RAM, so to check if it has all what we need to have in order to be able to make the uh, Microtech uh, Router OS uh, emulation on this PC. So let's start directly with the first point. Check if your PC is a 64-bit architecture. Remember, the processor of the uh, PC should be 64-bit. That's the first thing that I have said in the previous uh, video. So how we can know that from our computer? You can go directly to this PC, which is over here. And from here, you can just uh, go to property. And from here, you can check, you can see over here, if we go here on the system type you see it's a 64-bit operating system x64 based processor so we know now that it is a 64-bit processor what about the ram how can i know about the ram so you can see here the installed ram we have 12 gigabyte of ram and the requirement is uh, to have a minimum of 4 so 12 is much more this is the best way to check if your computer is able to have the GNS3 with the CHR image working on it. Now, if you want, there is another way also. You can just go to the command prompt on your Windows and write system information. So system information, if you just write it, you get something like this window. So also over here, you can get some more information, but this is what you see here. System type is uh, 64 as you can see here and over here you can see that this is the ram 12 gigabyte so uh, of course uh, this computer also i have uh, some capacity on my hard disk so that means this computer i can use it to make the uh, virtual uh, router os that i need to install it on the computer using the gns3 point number one is done point number two download the latest gns3 software from gns3.com website so remember we need to have the gns3 software and then we'll see we need to have also the virtual box which is from Oracle, and we need to have the CHR, Microtech CHR image version 7. So, first we need to get the GNS3 software. So how to do that? We have to go to the website. So I have made already all the websites ready here. So the GNS3, as you can see, it is gns3.com. So you can get it from here. You need to have an account. I already have an account. So this is my account. I'm logging in. If you don't have an account, you just register for one and uh, you can just uh, directly go and uh, download GNS3. So which version you need? So any version, I highly require you that you download the latest version. So uh, in case you are taking this course, maybe later. So in the future, you're taking this course, not on the time that I have recorded this course, please get the latest version from the GNS3. All they work without any problem. So I'm going to download it. So I'll just click on download and I'm going to use Windows. Of course, you can use uh, the uh, GNS3 on Mac or Linux. There is a way also to download it and install it there, but I'm only using now a uh, Windows uh, computer and all this course will be based on Windows computer. So I will say here, download. And I wait for this to be downloaded. And uh, once it is finished, then we need to install it. Point number two is done. Point number three, download the latest Oracle VirtualBox software from virtualbox.org website. So again, let's go to the uh, website over here to the browser. And you can see that it's still downloading now. So I'll wait for this to finish. That's not a problem. Then you have to go to virtualbox.org. Also, again, if you are watching this video uh, later, then in case there is a newer version than this version, that's okay. You can just download the latest version. But for now, on the time that I'm recording this video, it is on VirtualBox 6.1. So just I click on download. Here, you don't need to have an account. Just download. And uh, here, I will go to Windows Hosh. I click on it and then the download will start. So now I have downloaded GNS3 and I'm downloading now VirtualBox. Point number three is done. Point number four, download the latest Microtech CHR. So what is the Microtech CHR? Microtech CHR is the, the cloud host router. And that's a uh, software that Microtech provided to us where you can have the router as on a virtual uh, environment all right so uh, whether you want to install it uh, on on the cloud or you want to install it on gns3 then you can do that so this is 
a uh, software that Microtech provided to us. So let's go directly to the website and uh, to check that. So you can go to the Microtech here and from here you can go to software. So this is Microtech.com and from here you go to software. Now uh, on software you can look down and you can see this is the uh, router OS. We don't have to look at the router OS. We have to go to the cloud hosted router. So you can see this is the cloud hosted router and I'm going to use the version 7. All right. At this moment, version 7 is still on the beta version, so on development, but that's fine. I mean, in case again, you are taking the course where version 7 is a stable version, then please get the stable version. So it should show here over here uh, as uh, version 7 stable. All right. Now, before I uh, download the uh, the file for CHR and uh, before I tell you which one to download, I just want to show you over here about the uh, CHR. So this is the link. I'm going to leave it for you. It is from a wiki website on Microtech. Now, if you go down, you can see that this is uh, what they are saying the system requirement. So you should have CPU 64 bit. So again, as I said, your computer should have a 64 bit processor. And this is the RAM, they say 128 megabyte. But yeah, 128, I think it's too small. So that's why I said four gigabyte, because then if you have many routers, then uh, it works fast and uh, without any issue. And uh, the hard disk, they said here that uh, you need uh, 128 megabyte disk space for the CHR image. So that's uh, also what is the requirement. And you can see that uh, the CHR has been tested on the following. So you can see on the VirtualBox, VMware, and Kemu, and so forth. So the CHR works on all of those virtual software. So now if you go down a little bit here, you can see that the CHR has four different licenses: free, P1, P3, and unlimited. So the difference is uh, uh, once you, for example, get the free one, which you are going to work on it because you don't have to pay for uh, the use the, uh, the CHR, then it gives you speed on interface one megabit as maximum. And you can see the price is for free. But yeah, one megabit, it's more than enough for me to be able to make the configuration that I want on the Microsoft. So let's say if you want to do a configuration for OSPF or for, I don't know, MPLS or for security or, or, or we don't really care too much about the speed. The only point that we may have problem with this uh, image uh, uh, license, which is the free, is in case we want to work uh, uh, to do some labs for uh, quality of service for queuing, then yes, then you will end up having some issue. But uh, other than that, that's not a problem. So one megabit for me is more than enough. And you have the P1, then it gives you one gigabit uh, speed per, inter per interface, and you can see the cost is $45, so which is not too much. P10, P unlimited, so you can see that uh, this is the uh, uh, the four versions that uh, we have on uh, the CHR. Of course, for us, we are going to get the free one. So now, which one to get it? So let's go to the Microtech, again, website. Again, we go to the cloud hosted router. And over here, you have a different uh, type. So uh, you have some for the VMware, some for the uh, Oracle uh, virtual box. So you can also have for the raw disk. So for this course, we are going to use the VDI image, which works for the uh, Oracle virtual box. So I'm going to take that one and I will say here I want to download this one. So it is now downloading and uh, in a moment we should have it on the computer. Point number four is done. Point number five now we need to start installing the software. So install GNS3 on your PC. Let's do that. Let's go to this is uh, let's put everything in one place. So this is the Oracle virtual box that I have downloaded so i put it over here and uh, we have to take the chr image let's check if it has been downloaded so i take also the chr image i put it over there very good so everything is now ready and uh, let's start doing the work so first we need to install the genesis so you see that it's straightforward double click and then you say here next next and yeah, I'm name it Genesis 3, that's fine. So you leave everything default. This is where it's gonna be installed, that's fine. And you can see it's not very difficult, so it's just a matter of saying next, 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 and then you have Genesis 3 installed on your computer. Let's wait for this to be installed completely.
Now you can get uh, this one for uh, NP cap. I would say also I want to install it next. So we installed everything. I had an older version. Now it's uninstalling the older version. And now I'm getting the newer version. And then next. And now it's getting connected to the Gen S3 to get some updates. So we wait for that. You can see it's now installing Wireshark. So Wireshark comes uh, also uh, by default with the NS3. Wireshark is to be able to capture traffic. So once you have, for example, have two Microtech routers connected to each other and you want to capture the traffic, what uh, those uh, routers are doing, then you can just run directly Wireshark on this emulation. So we have to still wait a little bit until everything is uh, installed. So it's uh, going now fast. It's called the Putty, that's uh, also a uh, software that you may need to use. So Solar Putty, I don't really want it, so I will say no, I don't want that. And then I will say next, we'd like to get free uh, your free license for Solar Winds. You can, but uh, for me, I don't need it. So then this is GNS3, is directly installed. Point number five is done. Now we need to install VirtualBox. So remember, we need VirtualBox and GNS3 to make this uh, emulation network. So let's go to VirtualBox. Double click on it. And also VirtualBox will take some minutes to be installed. So uh, again, next, next, next. So here it will create for you some network interfaces for the VirtualBox to work. So we make uh, also next, they say here, it may take several minutes, so that's fine. We have to wait for it until it is finished. So now it is finished, so uh, I will not start now VirtualBox and that's it. So now VirtualBox is installed. You can see GNS2 and VirtualBox. It's uh, very straightforward how you can download and install them. Point number six is done. Point number seven now, we need to add the Microtech CHR image on the VirtualBox. So the VirtualBox is the one which is going to run for me the CHR image. So how we can use the VirtualBox with the CHR image. Let's open first the VirtualBox. So the uh, software that I have already installed. So this is the software that I have already installed. It is over here. Now, how can we uh, make it uh, work? So this is uh, now open. All you need to do is to say here, machine new, and uh, you make a new machine. And then over here, you can just give a name you want. So I will say here, router one, Microtech V7. All right, so just uh, to know that this is the router one. And now the type, we have to put here Linux and uh, we can put here other Linux 64-bit. Very good. Now, how much the memory we need to get? So 5 to 12 megabyte, that's fine. Now I will use here the uh, existing virtual drive. So I'll click on it over here and then let's move it like this. Uh, we can see that I have already attached this one, which is CHR uh, version 1. So if you want, I can just choose that. But if you want to know how to do that, you can just go to Add. And uh, from here, you can go where is your CHR image uh, saved. So uh, you can see that uh, this is the one that I have. And then you can say Open. And then it will show up for you over here. And then all you need to do is just to click on it and then you can say create. So you can see that now directly this one, router one, Microtech version seven, it is showing up on the virtual box. Point number seven is done. Point number eight, put all interfaces for this CHR image on virtual box to non attach. So this one is over here. Of course, you can see that I have a lot of other things, some for Microtech, some for Juniper, some for um, Huawei. So Please ignore all of those and look at this one, which is Router 1 Microtech version 7. So now this one, what you need to do is you have to go to settings. So it's really like a, a real uh, router. So uh, what you can do, you can just say, for example, on the network, the adapter. So this is the interface that is going to be on the router. So you can, if you want uh, to be knotted with the uh, computer interface, that's fine. But I highly I require that I always put it here, not attached. So I don't want to attach anything on this adapter. 
And same I do here, same I do on adapter 3, same I do on adapter 4. So NAT attached is the best option to do. And then I will say here, okay. Port number 8 is done. Port number 9, run the MicroTik image from VirtualBox and check if you are able to log in. So let's first check if this is going to work, the CHR image version 7. So how to run it? All you need to do is uh, you can just right click and say start or you can just double click on it. So once you double click, then you have uh, you should have the windows uh, open. So that's it. Here we go. That is running now. Let's make it big. Stay on the same size, but it's fine. So it's starting the service and here we go. You see router one login. If I say now admin with no password, which is the default. Yeah. I am now running the Microtik and it is on version 7. And uh, yeah, that is Microtik Router OS is running. Now I want to show you how you can import what you have here. You put it on GNS3 because on GNS3 we have a graphical uh, interface so you can just put routers and connect them and so forth. And later I have to show you how you can connect yourself, your computer to those routers to be able to open Winbox. So we don't want to work only on the command line. Point number nine is done and uh, with this point I have showed you what you need to download and uh, install on your computer. So remember we have to get the, the uh, GNS3 software, we need to get the uh, uh, Oracle VirtualBox and we need to get the CHR image uh, from a Microtech website. Please always get the latest ones in case you are taking this course later so uh, you don't have to take the same version that I'm using here. You will just get the, the latest version and it you do the same steps and they work all together without any problem. So this is what I wanted to show you in this first lab. I hope that uh, this lecture was informative for you and I'll see you in the upcoming lecture.